Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica. If you're new, welcome and if you're returning, thank you so much for joining me back. So today's video is going to be a fall Abercrombie haul. Um, it's not a massive one. I have about six pieces and I really want to share it to you guys what I got. Really fun, um, good. Um, good neutrals for the fall time, good staples. I feel like Abercrombie is one of those stores that has really kind of upped their game over the last few years. You know, I used to wear Abercrombie a lot in high school and I kind of stopped wearing it and I felt like it kind of picked back up in these past couple of years and I love that they kind of stay, they always stay true to their aesthetic. Um, they don't ever have that many trendy, trendy pieces. There are a few, but it's not overwhelming um, when you do see them. I love that their color palette is always pretty nice and on like the neutral side. There's never really a lot of color. I don't think I've ever seen like a bright pink or a bright orange. Um, there might be, but I feel like you can always count on them for those really got nice, like, you know, beautiful colors for the fall or the summer time. And um, I also love that they introduced black into their color scheme because I know for a lot of years they, for well, from I believe when they started, they never had the color black. And I don't know the reason why or behind it, but I know the last few years they have, maybe in the last five years maybe, I don't know, they finally introduced it into their color palette and I think it's totally changed the game in their uh, brand as an overall a brand. Um, so I'm just so excited to show you guys what I got because it's some really great pieces to add to your fall wardrobe. So if you guys want to see the items I did choose, let's just go ahead and get started. All right, so my first item, I'm going to start out with a bang. It's one of probably my favorite items that I purchased, and it's going to be the faux leather jacket. Absolutely love it. Um, I have been wanting a new faux leather jacket. Mine that I have is from Zara, and I have had it for years, probably about 10 years. And on the collar, the fabric, the leather is starting to peel. And so when I wear it, I get like black little like fabric spots like clinging onto me. Um, but I still wear it because I still love it. But I wanted some a new one this year, and I actually wanted one with silver um, hardware and because my other one is um, gold hardware. So I really like this one. A very cool motorcycle jacket. Has the zipper on the sleeves and these cool buckles on the back. And it's just a really nice uh, vegan leather jacket to add um, here in my wardrobe for this fall. The only complaint I have, and um, I, I, I can just work with it, is that the sleeves are long because um, I am petite. I feel like my arms aren't as long as, you know. And But that's the only downside, but I think I can keep them scrunched in or find a, a way to keep them up. But... Um, really super nice jacket. I really love it. And um, I got a small in this versus getting an extra small because I wanted some room to like put thicker sweaters. My Zara jacket is kind of snug on me. So when I wear it, I have to make sure I wear like something thin or sleeveless. Uh, but this one has some good kind of room in it for me to uh, move around in. But it's really nice, and I absolutely love it. They also have a vegan leather uh, blazer that I didn't see when I was purchasing, um, and I just saw it just literally like yesterday. So I'm thinking I might have to scoop that up too because I don't have a, a faux leather blazer at all, and it's a beautiful tan color. And I believe they have... A couple of colors. Oh no, I'm just kidding. Maybe it's a black or tan, but I think it was the tan one that I saw that's really, really nice. So, all right, moving on to our next item. I'm going to stay with the vegan leather, okay? This really beautiful, gorgeous vegan leather dress. I know that I mentioned in my trends video that I wanted more uh, faux leather dresses because the only one I have is the one I had on in that video with the beautiful sleeves. It was just really beautiful, but I really wanted something 
uh, with a really, you know, um, different bodice, like the top area. And I love that I can layer this one with like something underneath or I can just wear it as is. Also, what I love about this is that the straps are adjustable so you can make them one, two, three. They have three different um, holes so that you can pull up the the um, the straps, which I think that's really important because, you know, we're all different shapes and sizes, and sometimes I know that not everything is going to fit properly on us, and I know that's why a lot of people say go get your stuff tailored because, you know, everything's based on a fit model, and they kind of base it on sort of a universal, what they think most women um, tend to be like, but again, we are all shapes and sizes, so that doesn't necessarily always work. So, but I really, really love um, this one. Super cute. I got a extra small, I believe, because I got an extra small petite too, so it's shorter on me, which I like. Um, but I knew that this was going to have some kind of stretch, so and it does. So when I have it on, it's still nice and movable. It's not too tight. So I definitely would say true to size on this guy. Another leather piece that you've probably already seen in a recent video is this faux leather pleated mini skirt. Goodness gracious, I couldn't get the words. Um, really super nice. I, I feel like the leather is kind of all the same. They call it vegan leather, so we're just going to call it vegan leather. Um... I just love it. It gave me that whole like collegiate wear um, look, you know, the preppy look, but then also has the, you know, the vegan leather look as well for fall. You can wear it with boots. You can wear it with, you know, a bodysuit. You can wear it with a chunky knit. Uh, super nice, super cute. If you're wanting to add some faux leather into your wardrobe, I got an extra small and it fits really, really nice. It has a little tiny stretch to it um, here on the waistband. Uh, but other than that, it's not lined, and so the inside is really, really super nice, so it feels nice to the skin, so it's not going to feel like you're too hot or sticky. How I feel like some, well, it's really, just leather pieces, if you feel like you just, like, stick to it, but I'm not having a problem in these, or even the dress. The dress is the same way, so really, really love it. If you're looking for a faux leather skirt, definitely um, look this one up. Next is a pair of jeans, and I would say these are on the trendy side um, because of the way that the zipper is. It's got that, you know, uh, slanted zipper. It looks like it folds over, which um, I wasn't sure if I wanted a pair, and I thought, let me just try. And when I tried them on, they're cute, but to the eye, the illusion, it just kind of looks off sometimes because I, I paired it with a vest and so the vest is straight up and then you have that goes slanted so maybe not wear something on the top that has any buttons because then it almost looks like you are you did it on like you you don't know that you did it you didn't do it on purpose um but these are a 90s uh, straight ultra high rise jeans. I got a size 25 and they fit really, really nice. I love the wash, really nice light wash that you can wear for the uh, fall time. I think it's uh, super uh, beautiful. So if you're looking for, you know, to try the trend with the, you know, the over, what do they call it? I think it's the over, let me check before I butcher it. Okay. They call it the crisscross waistband. So, um, anyways, I wanted to try because this is my first pair of the crisscross waistband. So, like I said, I don't know if I'll buy another pair. I like this, but I am going to keep these because I do like the wash and I love that they are short. I can wear them with some really nice, like, kitten heels or something like that. Next up is a beautiful little cropped sweater that you've seen also in a recent video of mine. I love it. I don't know how to say this. Lay, I'm not going to say it because I'm going to butcher it. But it's hotel, spa, and pair. And I guess it's a pair. I don't know. Is it real? I don't know. It says Versailles at the very end, too. But anything with Paris or whatever, I just have to grab. I really like the color, too. I like the green. Um, I think that's what really attracted me, too, was the embroidery on here with the green on it for the um, for the fall time, but it also gives you sort of that like collegiate wear. I also loved it was cropped. I paired it, um, that you guys will see 
Um, if you've already watched my previous video, then like I said, you've already seen the sweater. Uh, but I paired it with a black and white blazer and it looked so good. I loved that outfit. I loved it so much and I can't wait to like physically wear it out somewhere when it gets nice and cooler here in Texas because right now it's definitely not. <laughs> All right, next up, I got a really nice, soft, and cozy little um, long sleeve um, top here. It is a uh, bodysuit. I love it. I love the thinness of it. Um, it really is cozy, and I love it because you can layer it over a sweatshirt when it get, does get cooler, or you can layer it with a vest or a jacket. Um, but I just love the material, and it's just super super nice it feels so nice on the skin and um, I just wanted a really beautiful color like this so I can really mix and match with a ton of colors for the fall time all right next up is going to be if you want to call it a trend I mean it is a trend I know I had it in my my trends video and it is um, but I love it um, it's going to be the men's vest here this one I believe was is meant to be like fitted in cropped but I actually ended up going a size oh wait I'm I'm sorry you guys I didn't tell you the sizes of these other ones I got an extra small in this I could have done a small so if you do want to have it kind of oversized I would get a um I would get a small but I'm gonna keep it because I just I mean I like it and then I got an extra small in this one as well all right, so I did end up getting a small, and I sized up because I wanted to leave it open over, like, maybe, like, chunky a chunky sweater or, you know, just layer it. I don't, when I bought it, I knew I, in my head, I didn't think I was going to actually wear it with nothing underneath. Um, so I didn't want it too, too tight on me. So I did get a small, and I think it fits great. I think I could have done the extra small, and it still would have been okay, but I really like it. I believe they have a black one that I want to get as well because I think they're just kind of great to have to throw over, um, wear with like jeans and, um, you know, a long sleeve top and then, you know, throw your jacket over and that's pretty much all you have. That's all you need. <laughs> and speaking of all you need, that is it, you guys. That is my haul. Really short and sweet. Six really nice uh, pieces for the fall um, to add into your wardrobe if you're looking for something um, in sort of that realm. You got a dress, you got a bottom, you got a skirt, jeans, some tops, a sweater, a jacket. Um, you got it all to recreate a whole bunch of different outfits uh, with all of this stuff. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that you uh, like these uh, pieces that I picked out. If you guys have any suggestions on pieces that I may have missed on Adam Crombie, let me know and I will look it up and I will see um, about getting those pieces because I know um, a lot of people I feel like are brands, I feel like a lot of their pieces are kind of coming in late for the fall-ish season. Um, and I think because of COVID and all that stuff pushed so many things back and it's still kind of filtering through the system. So I feel like we're kind of getting late seeing some of these pieces. So I really do think you're going to be seeing a lot more. And I'm just so excited about fall fashion. It's just so much fun. I love the colors, the textures that you get to mix and match. You get to layer. It's just a really fun time um, in fashion uh, to, to be dressing. So... Other than that, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like it, subscribe. If you aren't already, I would greatly appreciate it, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!